Hi, I'm Ms. Walzer and I teach multi-arts at Wedgwood Elementary. Multi-arts means theater, music, and dance. And I'm so excited to be here in my living room to teach you guys about shadow puppet theater. So I'm here teaching this lesson in my living room and my guess is you are at home also watching this. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of books here in my living room. I've collected them since I was little. My favorite collection is I have a bunch of Harry Potter books in other languages. I think I have a total of 11 different languages at this point. So that's a fun feature in the background. You may also, as I film this video, get to know my two cats, Gigi and Arietti. They tend to crawl all over me while I'm trying to work. So fingers crossed they don't do that. I think they're just trying to be helpful. For our lesson on Shadow Puppet Theater today, we're going to first focus on the history of Shadow Puppet Theater, then move on to how to write a quick script, and then we are going to learn how to make the puppets themselves and make the theater part work. Things you will need. Pencil. Scissors. Tapered glue. Paper a light source, like a flashlight or the sun. Optional items you will need are a piece of light colored fabric or a big piece of paper, and popsicle sticks, skewers, or just regular old sticks that you find outside. I'll give you a moment to get all your materials. Shadow Puppet Theater began thousands of thousands of years ago and is thought to have originated in Southeast Asia in countries like Bali and Cambodia and Malaysia and Thailand and China. They found evidence of it in ancient Chinese and Indian texts and they even found shadow puppets from the Middle East from around 300 BC. Shadow Puppet Theater was used to pass on oral traditions as well as present legends and myths. Originally, the puppets were static, meaning they didn't move. But then, puppet masters started to figure out that if they put hinges, they could actually manipulate the arms to make them appear to be gesturing. Then they started to add this technique to other parts of the body, till you created these beautiful, intricate puppets. These ancient puppets were designed with exceptional craftsmanship. The detail on them was astounding, even if they were just meant to be seen in silhouette. Remember, a silhouette is kind of like that outline shape of a figure that doesn't really show any details. The puppet masters figured out how to carve their puppets so that the light would shine through and create shape and texture and dimension. Shadow Puppet Theater is thought to be one of the inspirations behind film and animation. Kind of cool, right? How to create your story in your script. You've actually probably already learned this, so this will be more like review for a lot of you. But let's review it anyway! It all starts with picking your characters and creating a story arc. Remember, a story arc has a beginning, a middle, and an end. The beginning tells us the who, what, where, when, why of the story. If we want to get fancy, we call it exposition. The next part is the middle of the story. This includes the problem, all the events after that problem leading up to the climax or the biggest part of the story, and then all the events after that that lead to the end. Last, we have to come up with an ending. This is where the problems are hopefully solved, and our story is kind of tied up. There's no more, unless you want to add a cliffhanger. Bum bum bum! Can you draw a quick story arc outline like the one I have on the screen? You don't have to fill it out right now. Just draw it so that you have it to fill in later. I'll give you some time.
You just have to draw the boxes. Don't worry about filling them in just yet. Welcome back! If you didn't finish drawing it, no worries. You just have to remember beginning, middle, end. If you're having trouble thinking of a story, just do one you already know or you've already read. Fairy tales and other books make great shadow puppet theater. If you're feeling like you would rather create your own script, then totally do. Think of some characters and create a story arc based on your own adventures. Remember, this can be as simple or as fancy as you want it to be. If you want to create your own story, here are some story starters you can use. Maybe jot down some ideas or some books that you like that you would want to do a shadow puppet script about. Remember, it can be one that you create, it can be one that's started by one of the story starters, or it could be one based on a book that you already have read. See you in a sec. Okay, well, hopefully you got a jump start on creating an idea for your story, because now we are going to move on to how to make the puppets themselves. Now this part is pretty easy. In fact, you've probably already figured out how to do it. I decided that for my example, I'm going to do puppets from the book James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl. The reason I picked this book is because that's the musical we are doing at my school this year. So this is kind of a shout out to all my musical theater kids. One, you can trace the outline of characters and objects that you like, or just draw your own. Two, once you've traced the outline, then cut them out. You can cut out parts in the middle to create eyes or other features. Remember, the light will shine through whatever you cut out. So get creative. Three, attach a stick to move your puppet around without the audience seeing your hands. Now you have your puppets. Let's make some theater. Here are the puppets I created. This is the giant peach. And this is the flock of seagulls. I made it so that they can attach to each other and the peach can fly, but then, oh no, the seagulls can fly away. And the peach will still be there. I also made a rhino for when James has his nightmares about the rhino. Here's a helicopter and an airplane. I should not be doing sound effects. <laughs> my cat is eating my puppets. Stop eating my puppets. There are two things that you can do to create your shadow puppet theater. One is simply find a blank wall and shine your flashlight on it and hold up your puppets in front of the flashlight. Bum ba da ba da 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 da. <laughs> Two, you can find a light colored sheet or a giant piece of paper and hang them up and shine the flashlight from behind it. Put your puppet in between the flashlight and the sheet in order to get that cool effect. Do 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 do
Pew pew! Bubble bubble up! Rawr! Ah! Well, thank you so much for creating with me today. It was so much fun. Now go write and act out your own story. Shadow puppets have a long history and were used to share oral traditions, myths, and cultural history. Think about who your characters are. Your story needs a beginning, a middle, and an end. You can create puppets of your characters before you come up with a plot. Your story can be as fancy or as simple as you want. When cutting out your puppets, think about where the light will shine through. Can you create details, textures, and depth? You need a light source like a flashlight or the sun. Hold the puppet between the light source and your screen, a sheet, or the wall. Now create your story. Goodbye from me and Gigi. Have fun creating. Say bye, Gigi. Bye. <laughs> Probably not very happy about that.